eight, seven. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Uh, I think it's, uh, for me, it was very far-fetched to think um, I'd get to fly on the space shuttle because I lived in India in a very small town and um, forget about space, I didn't even know if my folks were going to let me go to the engineering college. And that was the immediate goal, you know. Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep and I am Vipin Kumar. Now in this special session of Super Saturday, we will be talking about the Wonder Woman, the Super Woman of India, the first Indian woman in space, Kalpana Chawla. A woman with starry eyes who imagined the world and then built a world around that imagination. From being born in 1962 in a very small town in Haryana, to becoming the first Indian woman in space in 1997. Her life is an inspiration to millions and millions of people. Now, during her early childhood days, she was never given a formal name and she was called with her nickname Montu. But during her admissions in her early schooling days, she was asked to choose between three names. And the name that she gave herself was Kalpana, the imagination. Her early schooling was done from Tagore School, which is in a very small town, Karnal, Haryana, which then was followed by a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh. After finishing her bachelor's in 1982, she moved to US to take her master's degree from University of Texas, which she finished in 1984. Subsequently, she completed her doctorate in 1988 from University of Colorado and then moved on the path of her dreams. Right after finishing a doctorate in 1988, Kalpana Chawla started working in NASA's Ames Research Center on power lift computational fluid dynamics. Later in 1994, she was selected as the astronaut candidate and became the crew representative of astronaut office EVA. After a few years of training, she was fully equipped to handle robotic situational awareness display and testing softwares for the space shuttles. 19th November 1997 was the day when she started her first ever mission to space on Columbia Space Shuttle STS-87 as mission specialist. Katna was the only woman who was a part of the six astronaut crew. The space shuttle took 252 orbits around the Earth in just a span of two weeks. With a primary motive to study the outer layer of the Sun, the crew performed numerous experiments and made various observations apart from the deployment of the Spartan satellite from the shuttle. During this mission, she logged 376 hours in space. After her very successful first mission in 1997, she was again selected for her second flight to space in the year 2000 on STS-107. This mission was repeatedly delayed due to the technical problems and was finally launched on 16th January 2003. Kalpana along with six other crew members left the Earth on STS-107 and spent 16 days in outer space performing more than 80 experiments. On the morning of 1st Feb 2003, after having a successful space mission, the flight along with all seven crew members was set to enter back into the Earth's atmosphere. On the morning of 1st Feb 2003, when the Columbia Space Shuttle STS-107 re-entered the Earth atmosphere, an insulation form stuck the port wing and allowed hot atmospheric gases to penetrate and destroy the internal wing structure. This caused the spacecraft to become unstable and break apart. Chain C flight by Chain C. Everything went good to you. Control and rates and everything is nominal, right? Control has been stable. We have good trims. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. It's crazy in here, but... Flight back. 
Go ahead, Max. FYI, I've just lost four separate temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle, the hydraulic return temperatures. Four high return temps? To the left outboard, left inboard Elevon. And Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure copy. messages and we did not copy your Is it your instrumentation, Max? Uh, flight Max, Got those it. are also all off. Roger. Off Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF com check. The whole flight disintegrated as soon as it entered the Earth atmosphere and not even one crew survived the accident. Her remains were identified along with those of the rest of the crew members and were cremated and scattered at Zion National Park in Utah in accordance with her wishes. For her outstanding career achievements and her significant contribution to the country, she was given many awards, which included prestigious NASA Distinguished Service Medal, Congressional Space Medal of Honor, and NASA Space Flight Model. She may have left the Earth very early, but she lives in our heart and she will be an inspiration for many, many, many years for all the people in India and around the globe. Jai Hind. This is Prime Minister Gujral from India. Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Gujral, I hear you loud and clear. How do you read me? Kalpana, we are proud of you. Each one of us in India is proud of us. Proud of a person like you who has done such a pioneering work. And particularly the women and youth of India take great the pride in seeing what you have done in the space. My hearty congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You know, when I think of you, I think what a long journey you have covered from Karnal to space, long distance. And therefore, when I talk to you, I feel I'm talking to a person who is representing India in the space now.